chilly. What do I care? Get him out of my hair for a month. And there goes the entire effects budget. Hope you enjoyed it. Q Entertainment? I hope they don't bring down the top shelf quality we're used to from Edgewood. Sniper here. I've got a clean shot on the movie's title. Just give me the signal and uh, I will proceed with the. Oh God, I'm on fire! Everything's on fire! What happened? Emma fell down again riding that bike. She just won't quit on that thing, will she? A little girl trying to ride her bike. She's crazy. She probably wouldn't fall if you gave her a few lessons. I will. As soon as I get back. Also, it took a while to shave his hair into that formation. Ow, damn. Here, Pear, put your head down. Somehow, this is his best angle. Sebastian, it's just some blood. I hate the sight of blood. You mean you hate the sight of your own blood? <sighs> you know, for most men, shaving isn't a two-person operation. A couple weeks from now, I'm out of the systems business. You've also been saying that since Emma was born. Oh, Emma's fuzzier than I expected. You be good like I asked you, and I'll bring you back something special, okay? How about a teddy bear? You have any of those, or...? In about a week, and I want you to be good for Mommy, okay? Okay. All right. Take care of my baby, Mr. Paws. I love you, Pumpkin. I love you, Daddy. And I love handsome pool cleaner Daddy, too. Shh, shh, shh. See you in a week. We are going to make this work, aren't we? Despite our huge attractiveness gap... Me too. Huge. Be careful. Oh, yeah. The computer conferences can be deadly. I think that's supposed to be a joke, but he, he actually does look like the kind of guy who'd find a way to die at a computer conference. Rails back. Sounds like a shot your weird old uncle would pressure you into drinking with him. Yeah. Hey, get me around to the rails back from your college boy nephew and his college boy friends. This'll put some hair in your chest, fellas. <laughs> the mysterious man pauses and makes note that he's parked on the mini mouse level. At last, the owner's manual to a 93 Honda Civic is mine. Find a more convenient place to keep his passport. You know, like maybe somewhere in his house. And aha! The plane landed. See, I assumed it was going to spend the rest of the movie in the sky. Unrealistic airport scene. She should be fighting for an outlet to charge her phone. That's Spanish for pretend we're not still in Vermont. And the equipment. I'm meeting his being right here for tonight. Screw Woody, he'll always just be Mark Keppel to me. It's like with John Cougar Mellencamp. Everybody has their preferred way to say Mark Woody Keppel's name. Welcome to Chile, where it's all about length, not girth. So what was playing quarterback for the Colts like? I'm not... Uh, I mean, fun! It, it was fun. Hey, idiot, you forgot your room key. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, let me make this look suave and sophisticated. <sighs> Just go to your room. Yeah, okay. Sorry. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is the Chilean version of Mr. Jones and Me by Counting Crows. You better run, Mike. Already gone. <laughs> Let's check the headlines. Entire newspaper written in Spanish, a language you don't understand, you dolt. Very interesting. The wick will burn for one minute. 
When the wick goes out, you have 20 seconds. Yeah, I'm not Peter buying what he's Peter Sellers in. <laughs> when this goes off, you be somewhere else. <laughs> and forget Chile. We're off to a Vermont ski resort currently being terrorized by none other than Bruce Campbell. That's kind of familiar. Yep. Hang gliding, Ooh. ski lifting, Ooh. trudging around in the snow looking grumpy. Ooh. Hope the whole movie is him arriving places then leaving immediately. <laughs> I get it now. Our hero's a surprise birthday party planner at the highest level. Eso no es un cachillo, mate. He makes small, subtle food donations to kitchens around the world. That's his deal. He works there now? Yeah, it's a pretty standard procedure. You sit down a box of food somewhere and they uh, give you a job. Now he's disguised himself as a pair of ovens. He truly is a master. Robert, I told you, I have financial and political commitments of my own. Well, Ambassador, the government's lack of enthusiasm. Uh, I'm over here, over here. Your role in the UN is an important one, especially in an election year. Ah, a little to the right of the center for your bleeding hearts, I suspect. <laughs> I'm a foreign, this mama mia, sacre good. blue. <laughs> all right, contact your people. We will have a word. But later, it is, after all, my birthday. So just relax and don't worry about it, huh? Uh, huh? Elizabeth, where's your husband? A second one, I'm glad you're here alone. And as lovely as ever. Yes, I'm wearing a wig and my mustache is also fake. Alex! <laughs> Oven mitts are the one part of being an international spy he didn't master. Many friends in the American diplomatic community for such an extravagant reminder of my impending old age. It's about as extravagant as a high school graduation party, but sure. The people of our country share a great deal with the people in your own country. Whatever those two countries might be. Friends, we strive to develop new opportunities for ourselves and our citizens. We throw childish we birthday parties for our ambassadors. World community with continued economic growth, free from the heavy hand of government. As a government official, I hate the government. Today, the hand of government weighs heavily <laughs> Goes again. And the hand of crime. <laughs> I use baking powder instead of baking soda. This cake will be noticeably less moist. We live in a time where we must marshal our own support to bring our own resources to bear upon the problem. Oh, the problem of government. <laughs> sure, sure. We must act responsibly, but we must act. Oh, this is an Edgewood movie, so nobody the acts. People in my country want your country to again be the example <laughs> it once was. We want you to emerge from the upcoming election as the conscience of the free world. Tragically, this is Germany, 1933. <laughs> but this is a birthday celebration. A happy occasion. Mm, happy so, until you hear this restaurant's birthday song. It, it's grim. My commitment to support that effort in any way that I can. I just hope this isn't leading up to our hero jumping out of that cake totally nude. Hi, yes, they uh, let me make the cake and carry it out even though nobody recognizes me and they definitely know I don't work here. Hi! Muchas cosas buenas, embajador. Thank you. Make the last wish. No, the quip comes after the murder, you nitwit. I would like to make a wish for the future of a strong Chile. What? No, no, he's supposed to wish for a Lamborghini. This is all wrong. How are these people going to keep clapping? It's a birthday cake, not Hamilton. (laughs) 
He was fine with it exploding five feet away from the kids, but right next to the kids, that's too much. No, he's doing tens of dollars of damage. <laughs> the fuse isn't lit. I, I don't know much about bombs, but I think that means we're okay. I, I would think. No. <laughs> the gentle cheek caress after the punch is his signature move. Does anybody need a refill? say El Dente? Apparently he hates limp soggy pasta, so he'll kill to stop it. Ah, uh, now it's a birthday car. It's a really sweet gesture. And I, oh, well, thought that count. But, but the fuse wasn't lit. I, I still Mike, don't understand. Mike, you should just accept the fact that you'll never be a great spy like this guy running uphill like a toddler. Get him, snow cops. Make him buy a lift pad. I'll show him. Super spy stealth roll. Oh, uh, just let me catch my breath. Bunny hop to freedom. Okay, the snowmobiles must be in a different continent from him. That's the only explanation. Come on, come on, there's got to be a tauntaun to cut open somewhere in here. Should have paid more for the snowplow attachment. Yes, I see that now. So, this was the plan all along, have a snowmobile hidden in a random snowbank at the bottom of a steep hill he has to run down? Well, it's working, isn't it? Uh, is it? I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, snowmobile chase, big deal. This happens at least once a week, ice fishing out on the lake. Never a group runs out of brewskis and turns to war. Probably good that they took a guy in chef's outfit shoots backwards from a snowmobile out of the Winter Olympics. Your wife missed a spot shaving you, let me help! Getting his foot stuck in something is the first thing I believed he could actually do. Mr. Bean as Johnny English shakes his head at this guy's clumsy ineptitude. Hey buddy, Gore-Tex doesn't grow on trees. my chance to say, look out, it's going to blow, Mobile. Sorry, Mike, you could say it now. Yeah. Thanks. Sure. Well, I suck at all this. I have to walk home from Chile, I guess. Tragically, halfway through his walk home, a Boeing 747 landed. Now he can finally get back to the heart of the mission, getting the antifreeze jug out of the trunk so he can top off the tank. We're just here to remind you to get your ticket validated before you leave the garage. That trunk gun came standard in the 93 Civic. He goes through this every morning when he wakes up and realizes he's him. Oh, no, not again. Oh. Ah, 
Add a thin layer of hand grease to the thick scalp grease. Good. Ah, this reminds me of the time I had to use the employee bathroom back in the loading area of the supermarket. <laughs> wow, that sounds like... It was an emergency, okay? Okay. Mirror still too reflective. Could we get a cardboard one? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, bright side, his art is really improving in prison. I lied about all of it. You killed people. And you lost the boot I gave you. The government, Karen. For the United States government. That's not what they say. For God's sakes, what did you think they would say? He's the sensitive, gentle government assassin. You lie. How could you kill? How could you do this to us? I didn't do this to us. I did this for us. I'm a soldier. And a simple I country lawyer. Officers, they offered me an opportunity. An opportunity? Please don't. An opportunity for what? To become a murderer? What were you going to do for career fans? To become a serial killer, then a mass murderer? And have a popular true yeah, crime course. series based on your life? Why and then what? Why government want to kill one of its own ambassadors? Wow. You know I can't, <laughs> counselor. Why not? Because my life and my family would be in jeopardy. I simply can't tell you. Sir, yes or no, is Billie Jean your lover? You are aware that the Central Intelligence Agency has absolutely no record of your employment or involvement with them, ever. They don't even know who you are. Of course I'm aware that that's what you would be told. What else could they tell you? For example, my leather diaper fetish is highly classified. Ambassador Don't. Ramirez was not an arms dealer, Mr. Delacorte. In fact, very far from it. He chaired the UN Council. Larry of Linville, the Paris. mummified Gerald McCraney years. To our own <laughs> Sebastian Delacorte was sentenced here today at Federal District Court for the assassination of Enrique Ramirez, Chilean ambassador to the U.S. Delacorte will serve a life sentence without possibility of parole in a maximum security prison. Oh, I never should have hired Christopher Darden. I need to move on. Emma needs to move on. We don't know you anymore. I'm not sure we ever did. You led a life apart from us. I wasted so much money on store-bought cakes. <laughs> You're a stranger, Sebastian. There's a part of you that is very ugly. No, a part? <laughs> very generous of her. This is the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life. Second to Zumba, of course. I'm filing for a divorce. Please try and understand. We have to get on with our lives. Emma has to stop crying over her daddy every night, and I need to stop crying over you too. Wait, she married her dad? Gross. I need you to understand. I'm sorry. Karen, please don't. Karen, wait. Please wait. She was supposed to bring me some ring dings. <laughs> uh, this would be so much more dramatic with some breakable. How many tears can a chin butt hold? Let's find out together. I think it's a lot. Aha, the classic villain under wrist watch position. <laughs> My door window shows reruns of M.A.S.H. You knew the risks, Della. Hey, ferret face. There, you were hung out there from the first. It was a sensitive operation. The political ones always are. I couldn't help you then. You were too hot. You abandoned me. Words he's spoken well, many, many times. And I can help you. How? Can you give me my family back? Can you return my daughter's birthdays? No, I can't give you any of those things. But uh, I can give you a little something. And what exactly would that be, Neil? Your freedom. William's poster. No, you're a big C and C fan. They've tried, <laughs> but they've come up short. And worse than that, they've disappeared. But you, you're better than both of them. 
And you've got nothing to lose. Except slightly more hair. So. Also dignity. One more job for Also, me. well, <laughs> let's not get I into get it. a pardon? Uh, we were thinking more on the lines of an escape. <laughs> I don't think so, Neil. Uh, uh, you guys know we're listening, right? Run? No, you wouldn't be on the run. You'd be an escapee who, because of some bureaucratic sleight of hand... Uh, uh, guys? ...looking for. Federal officials will take over from the locals on the search and convenient to forget you even existed. Words he's heard spoken many times. No, I don't think so. I'm done with you, and I'm done with the company. You're not worth it, Neil. And your perverted sense of values aren't worth it either. Oh, perhaps not, but, um... He took the perverted I values thing surprisingly yes. well. <laughs> I mean, Emma's growing up. What is she, nine? Ten now? She told me to, uh, give you this. She's got a new one with realistic genitals. Oh, think about it. Like I said, you've got nothing to lose. I'll freeze in hell before I help you, Neil. Do you hear me? I heard you, but I think but, you mixed your metaphors. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Pause can tell you what to do next. Oh, please, Mr. Prison Inmate, whatever you're planning, don't do it! <gasps> Weirdly realistic intestinal tract. Gross. Mr. Paws. See, dear sir, this is to inform you of your daughter's intent to pursue legal emancipation. Oh. And I expect you to return that laser undamaged, double O nothing. I get the feeling he's being stalked by Michael Myers. Oh, please, God, please. Michael Myers coming. <laughs> and now to compose a polite but firm letter asking the door to open. Tell J.K. I'm one of his team players. <laughs> Big boy. <laughs> Apparently when they were handing out prison uniforms, our hero asked for the Michael Clark Duncan. You know, really, he, he is best viewed through a metal grate. <laughs> I need the motorcycle inside that bear for my escape. Hardworking men like you and me gotta come down here sneaking cigarettes like common criminals. We got baby maids up there sitting around in air conditioning playing video games with themselves. They're so busy gaming they don't even have time to fling bodily fluids at us. <laughs> come on, Mr. Paws, let's garrot some guards and get the hell out of here. Mr. Paws suckles gently at his breast. <laughs> what the hell? Jesus! We were supposed to cuddle together. Call it in, Jimmy. Get him a pink suit and a pink blanket. Stat! Phone line's been cut. Come on, Jimmy. There's got to be a second phone around this prison somewhere. An alarm or something? Nope. Some pots to bang together? Anything. Nothing. All units, be on the lookout for an animate orange garbage bag. One, one of the big ones, you know, like a leaf bag. So this reminds me of that Fox show. Oh, Prison Break. What? Oh, no, no. I was going to say Skin. Just because I have a theory that Sebastian's father is the district attorney! Which. Long hang time on that one. Thank you. 
still it came crashing to the ground. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the bland man of Alcatraz. That was his equivalent of Tom Cruise climbing the Burj Khalifa building. I think this prison should have employed more than three guards. Definitely the roof of a maximum security prison and not the local Howard Johnsons. Do not get that into your head. Ah, see the script has arrived. <laughs> This is how he earned the nickname the Greg Luganus of Garbage. Where is he? <laughs> if only there was a way to alert the guards at the gate. Nope. But there's not. Nope, there's just not. Ah, trash bear. Oh, it's just him. I would have liked the trash bear. Okay, on behalf of all the contract workers from the Supermax prison, we hope you have a nice escape. Good day, sir. Oh, if only there were land for lease. But <laughs> there's not. It's a shame. All right, should I ditch the jumpsuit? Maybe change my hair like in The Fugitive? It, no, who am I kidding? No one even cares about me. Are they nice at the prison to rent him that apartment? No gift basket, but hey. Stay large, forehead. Stay large. And the prison sent a car service to pick him up. It's a nice gesture. Wilmington, a place where quotation marks get extra room to breathe. <laughs> Just a quick stop. He left half a stick of deodorant at his ex's place. Steal a hanging plant? It seems like this place can spare one. Why is Mason Reese playing piano in my house? Oh, that's my daughter. Ah, peeping on your own family. Guys, is there anything better? <sighs> Guys? Um, I'm not... I know. Uh, there isn't, okay? No. <laughs> huh, must be the lawn guy. Oh, man, those true green folks are really good with customer service. <laughs> yeah, he's keeping his prison escape cash. No reason to give it more drama than it needs. Relaxed. Look, Ma, it's that diplomat shooting his ass and up and escaping from the Supermax prison. Well, you're going to get that. Vermont. Oh, that's Sirhan Sirhan's truck. He's on a leisurely escape, too. So, yeah, Bertie said is going to be president someday. Sure. Hey, do they make shirts like that for men too? This sick burn brought to you by Budweiser. 
I guess you could say that, yeah. Yeah, I wonder if he's partial to sheep, too. <laughs> bah. 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 They're not teasing. Their Vermont fathers actually slept with sheep. It's a local custom. They got too much time on their hands and not enough brains in their head. It's an annoying affliction. But, uh, it ain't deadly. Background alligator, good to see you. <laughs> Could be. You see that? Told you like sheep. Shut up, Elliot. I believe that man is mocking us. And it's very hurtful. You mean mock? <laughs> He's making fun of us, stupid. You gentlemen live in the neighborhood. Uh huh. What about it? I think we're gonna be neighbors. And I'd love to buy you a cup of coffee. Well, thanks. Hey, I didn't get a chance to discuss the origin of the bean of the roast level with you. Was that a dry or wet process coffee, you son of a... Ow! Ah! Oh my god. The ring holding that six-pack together is very impressive. <laughs> At least beat us with a six-pack of dry Japanese lager. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's why he got it. Oh, oh, all right, all right, everybody just stop right where you are. Come on. Uh, to save money, the rest of the movie is shot on dash cams. Shut up or you're going. Oh, God. God. Uh, Andrew, come over here. Yeah. What are you doing? Son of a... You are a dead man. You are a dead man. Yeah, we mostly loiter, but sometimes we mix in a light murder or two. That's it. You boys get lost. It's just my tax dollar. Hey, 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 hey. You're going to go to jail. Hey, we'll have a real Go back and get to see ya. Have a nice day. Look out, there's purse snatchers over there. Can you imagine arresting a person who beats up an old lady and steals her purse? (laughs) Whip. So let me see if I understand this, officer. You're letting them go? David Caruso. Oh. Well, I admit the odds didn't look so good, but the results weren't what I was expecting. Seems to me they sustained most of the damage. Those boys are bad news. Why'd you mix it up with them in the first place? Boys? Yeah. What boys? Just for the taste of it. Okay. What's your name? Del Looks Seagal. like if Billy Crystal and Steven okay. Seagal had a baby and used Peyton Manning as their surrogate. That's it? Peyton Crystal Seagal. Delaware. That's okay. it. Nailed that. Wellington, Delaware, a place to be somebody. Excuse me? Nothing. I need some sort of address, Mr. Sebastian. I don't have one yet. And sir, I have to ask, do they make that shirt for men, too? Well, hey! I'm looking for work. I just got here five minutes ago. Great first impression, huh? Well, I would have chosen something a bit more low-keyed myself. And she takes him behind the building and beats him out of sight of the security cameras. In a low-key fashion. That's low-key about you. Speaking of that first impression, Mr. Sebastian, there were three of them and one of you. Now, I know those boys. Boys? Are, are there different words in Vermont? Brain, but they are young, they're tough, and are they can share a fight. So why is it yeah. that I come screaming in here to save your life? Two of them are already on the ground. You're standing there with a six-pack Look, of Look, Veronica and Lake, and get the damn hair out, out of your eye. Now, if I print and process you through BCI, am I going to find out you're some sort of killing machine or something? <laughs> I don't think so, officer. It's really very simple. Director had a brother-in-law who was out of work and had time on his hands, so he asked him to be in his movie. I was trying to stay out of their way till you could get here. (laughs) Right. Except you didn't know I was coming. At their 40th anniversary, they would laugh about how they met after a vicious gang beating. You've been warned. Now you stay out of trouble. I will. By the way... Don't ever fart in my police car again. Think you can spare one of those weapons? Sure, why not? This one here is on very intimate terms with young Jethro's nose. And it's so obviously empty, it's comical. Uh, one more thing. Where are you staying? I don't know yet. That's right. You just arrived. Yes. Yeah, sometimes I forget entire conversations I just had seconds ago. I heard that a local construction company, I think Freedom, is looking to hire. (laughs) You're kidding. Why? Mr. Sebastian, those young men you just manhandled work for Arno Taylor at Freedom. Yeah, they had to get waivers from their Look, parents because they're so yeah, young. They're so young. Here, and I can't just tell you to get out of Dodge, but they're a bad bunch. And you seem like a nice enough guy. Sure, you were beating up those Maybe infants. Is that official advice, officer? Yes. Yes, it is. Then I will. Good. So will I. No, uh I will. I will first. I already did it. Did not. Two. Not. Did two. Not. Uh-huh. Okay. Boy. Did not. Oh, 
Covered Bridge. Madison County, there's Clint Eastwood. Damn, I drove to the wrong movie. Don't. Oh. He's going to destroy his permanent record that says he got detention in fifth grade. Ugh, it's such a cliche of espionage movies. The hero always has a secret barn kitchen he goes to when there's trouble. <laughs> what? Uh, aw, this isn't Lunchables. Okay then, I guess enough movie. Let's watch gravel being made. <laughs> and I strongly implied he was wearing a lady shirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's those toddlers from before. And I don't have a brand new empty six pack of Diet Coke to hit them with. You should have thought of that before you came in the yard. She boy. <laughs> she boy? What do you think he's from Thailand? What is the matter with you? Huh? 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 What's the matter with you? You slow learn. Is that what it Control, is? Control, gentlemen. So if not stopped, those guys regularly kill boy, people. Right here, Straight up murder. He just seems to want to find trouble. Mr. P, please. I wasn't speaking to you. Mr. P, that's an odd name for a little boy. What can I do for you, Mr. Sebastian? Heard you were hiring. Yep, already met my HR staff. I might be. But at least we should talk about the possibilities before you do any more damage to my crew. Come on in, grab a chain, let's fight. <laughs> so, you're looking for work. Do you always present such an aggressive first impression? You, I'll well, kill you, you really piece of that is, I, generally I don't mean to. Why? Why is that? Foreign force to attack it. That's sound reasoning, Mr. Sebastian. How much do you know about Vermont's How cheddar mining industry? Well, I'm licensed on most heavy equipment and demolitions. I can take orders and I know how to do my job. And I have a barn kitchen. And I'll give you an honest day's work for Gotta be in my plus work. column. <laughs> barn kitchen. Where'd you get your experience? Your sure Military sure. mostly. First with the Army Corps state side. Later as a ranger with the 3rd Battalion. Now, legally, is an employer allowed to ask, do they make that shared for men, too? <laughs> That's what I'd be asking. Where in you serve? Make Kong Delta. What? The qualifications are adequate. And we can always use another hand in our modest effort to build a better America. Or I'm not Bob Creepy. Yeah, I was hired this morning. Yeah. No, no problem at all. Oh, tank tops. All right. I'll let you know what I find out as soon as I can. You do that, but remember, Taylor is very sharp. We need this, but you can't afford any more mistakes. Oh, I forgot to say goodbye. I hope I didn't seem rude. Hey, Taylor wants you over to the Springfield Bridge this afternoon. We're gonna blow some bedrock. You know how I get there? I'll find it. All right, go see Walter over in building four, get some detonators. Get what you need and get on over there. Then put a Commodore computer in your airplane and go back to 1776. Right. Thanks, champ. You know, all the best heroes wear mom jeans. <laughs> a big warehouse. There's got to be a kitchen in there. Ah, uh -huh. oh, no, no, no criminals in there. His dark secret, he's never actually been to Melbourne. His aunt bought that for him. Uh, truck reminds me of Nam when the other guys would frag me and lock me in a truck. Frag me. He was killed so many times. <laughs> Ah, are, are you the owner of the truck? Well, don't just yammer at me like that. Answer the question. <laughs> Strange fella. Nice doggy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
And now he's going to check every truck in existence to see if there are dogs in them. Truck have dog. What are you doing? There's got to be a truck dog in there, you moron. <laughs> Got a sudden craving for freedom fries. GMC, the official truck of wrongly convicted ex CIA assassins. Chevy, the official truck of obviously evil arms importers who use construction companies as their front. Like a rock! What official trucks going on here. <laughs> What a relief. That French connection like truck chase was a bit too much for the old ticker. So, P. Yes, P. Am I too late for the truck chase? Yeah, it's over. Aw. Well, Mr. Sebastian, planning a trip with the boss? Yep, my real name is Little Stevie Van Zant. Isn't that Freedom Corporation's hangar down there? It is indeed. So what are you doing up here? Today's my day to play guard dog. For Arno Taylor? Who else? Ooh, Arno Taylor, what trouble don't you get into? <laughs> Who the hell is Arno Taylor? How the hell would I know? Thank you anyway, you're more than welcome. You're kidding. Sounds a bit paranoid, huh? But it's tough to say no to the boss. Well, why didn't he just call us? Ah, they misdialed well, and they called the Ghostbusters. Cops in skirts that didn't instill confidence. Mm. His words, not mine. Okay. So, um, I was kind of wondering. Would you pepper spray my genitals? No, no, wait, that wasn't my question. <laughs> Where'd that come from? <laughs> Do you bowl? Bowl. Big ball, uh -huh. heavy, that. CIA assassin yeah, slash comedian. I see. Well, in that case, Officer Cole, would you like to go bowling with me tonight? After that bowling pantomime shtick? Sure. Uh, no. I as long can't as I see can my way to that. Way. No problem. In fact, I'll do you one better. You can pay my way as well. <laughs> okay, deal. Uh, I gotta go. My boy is on the move. I'll see you tonight. Looking forward to it. Around 8. Okay. Hey, the bowling alley burned down years ago, so suck it, clown head. Hey! I do have kind of a clown head, though, to be honest. He's powering it silently with his feet like the Flintstones. Ah, oh, it's the full moon. He's got to do his black magic rituals to attract women way out of his league. Seinfeld's trying to start. <laughs> Good thing he wore his tactical Cosby sweater. Ugh. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Cool, he has a sonic screwdriver for crappy office park doors. Ah, I've really hit rock bottom. Time to try online dating. <laughs> ah, the perfect camouflage for a divorced dentist singles mixer. Say goodbye to your secret chocolate stash, Gloria. Ah, the mist puzzle walkthroughs. What the? This is all hate mail for Beverly Cleary. <laughs> and cross reference with Rogaine prescriptions. than I thought. Architecture is soulless and derivative. 
Oh yeah, change the screensaver to I Heart Smelly Butts. Do it. Oh, I remember this. I loved this game when I was a kid. <laughs> that was fun. The government. <laughs> now. See here, Jaja for Sunniv Wallachanen. Oh, never mind. Give it a good shot. Uh, Del Carney, Ron Mexico, Carlos Danger. <laughs> Of course. That's Italian for sabotage of the food court. <laughs> oh, darn. It's the night the gun salesmen come with their gun samples. Public nudity, unwanted sexual contact with a marine mammal, restraining order from SeaWorld? Nobody bothered to tell me it's camo pants day. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Check the entire facility. Hmm. My troll dolls appear to be in order. Yeah, my guidance counselor said I'd never blow up anything. Talking about the desk lamp, right? <sighs> Great. Now I don't know if I should try to sleep for a few hours or just stay up. I know it's late, but these dank memes aren't going to make themselves. Did he just bed down with the ceiling raccoons for the night? <laughs> Wait a minute. This isn't my house. Tonight on Mythbusters, every single thing that just happened. Almost as bad as the time I washed my clothes with gasoline. Oh, that's bad. In the 1930s. When I was alive. <laughs> Please take this moment seriously, even though he looks like he blew up in an itchy and scratchy cartoon. <laughs> I like the smoke. The smoking hole in the middle of his shirt. <laughs> really sells it. Uh, remember when monitors were so big there was barely room for your desk gun? Capital florists. Stratton records, please. Yep, that's what iPhones used to look like, kids. Stratton records. Yeah, this is Martha Stratton. Can I help you? Martha, it's Sebastian. Sebastian? Sebastian Delacour? Dashing international ladies, Same man? Oh. Mm. Only one, hon. Jeez, I, I can't believe it's you. I thought you were... Well, it's great to hear your voice. Uh, what can I do to help you, Sebastian? <laughs> your real friends don't judge you for stuff like prison breaks and murder convictions. <laughs> Or police department should do casual Fridays. The most exciting thing to happen in Vermont since Ben and Jerry's brought back wavy gravy in 2005. 
Martha. Very fruitful. But very strange, Sebastian. How so? Stranger than that weird telephone coffin device he's standing in? Freedom Corporation is is a fund for a very active militia group headed up by one Arno Taylor. Hard right-wing politics. These guys are not the type to let their votes do the talking. No, sir. They're hardcore hashtag activists. Looks like (laughs) Ambassador Enrique Ramirez was one of many strong supporters. Ramirez? Yep. Whip this ragtag group of terror misfits into regional terror champions. agenda these guys like. Huh. It's possible he has some first-hand contact with the infamous Arnold Taylor himself. Oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> I'll see myself to hell now. Yeah, yeah. Taylor Quickly. Santiago. He stated the day before Ramirez was assassinated. What about Neil, Martha? Well. No, like honey, said, don't even get me started. For a long time. Could be he was just keeping tabs on him. Nothing beyond that, Sebastian. Lots of dates, places, descriptions. All done professionally in but Microsoft Paint. Good job, CIA. What's going on, Sebastian? I don't have any idea, although the plot definitely thickens. Is the plot thickening, or is it just getting more dense and kind of plotted, kind of gluey? Yeah. Quit stonewalling, you cuddly son of a... No, no, that's way more Sebastian thigh than anyone needs to see. Oh, just relax, sir. I'm a freelance chiropractor. Mm, He better get out of there before the Minotaur is released. Kill both of my men outside? They make fun of me behind my back well, anyway. Are you spouting any more political rhetoric for a while? The incident at your house was just to get your attention. I knew it wouldn't stop you. When a boy blows up your house, it means he likes you. Oh, thanks. For this. Of course. My fingerprints. Yes, you will be held responsible for the chaos at the congressional office building tomorrow. Fingerprints on the detonators, a few fibers from your clothes. One of your three remaining hairs. <laughs> an ex-government killer with an axe to grind. Will at noon tomorrow blow up the congressional office building in D.C.? Why, Taylor? It's the only way to deprive Jay Leno of material about Congress. <laughs> America's dying. Have you seen these knuckleheads? In Congress. The infrastructure is decaying. The educational system is antiquated. Drugs and violence. Oh, so he's okay with that. Have corrupted our humanity. Ah, okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Took a pause. The Finished rich the pause. get Stand richer. And the poor suffer every consequence. And the politicians every year leave us deeper in gridlock and debt. Oh, hey, he's convinced me. Yeah, hand me that detonator. Nothing changes. People have to take control now. We've got no time to waste and nothing to lose. And he just defeated Hillary Clinton. Uh, (laughs) This is a bold statement, Mr. Delacourt. You're going to help to liberate a corrupt and greedy nation. McDonald land. (laughs) Tomorrow will be a new day of independence. My God, Taylor, listen to yourself. You sound like just another bloated politician. Hey, I retain a little water in my ankles. I don't think that calls for calling. Please. Nothing so impotent and useless as that. Oh, please. Don't make us picture impotent politicians. I expected. Bloated. You see something more. What I see, Mr. Taylor, is a madman. And not one of the people like Dabney Coleman. (laughs) Kevin, the 90s are over. Let it go. (laughs) 
by ridding them of a deranged madman. My thought exactly. I would hold that for The hell was he? Behind a paint can? Oh, what a surprise. <laughs> mm. I was wondering what part you play in this little comedy. Oh, a long and distinguished one, my friend. Like my career Being up to this movie. The mirrors, no doubt. <laughs> See, Taylor, told you it was good. As that fool Ramirez was supposed to provide us with international funds and supplies. Uh, my arm's getting kind of tired. Until he started Been pointing this gun for like, like three minutes. Plant, and then, of course, he oh. had to sell us out. You were supposed to send him off. Uh, do we need to be back here for all this? We you lost your nerve. Some stuff to do. It was you, Neil. Well, of course it was. It was simple. Execute the ambassador and make you the patsy. Now give me the gun. Death comes soon enough without rushing it. This was them rushing? <laughs> I just gave this guy my gun. Sir, it's Asahi guy's 43rd birthday. Oh, really? Tell him he's a good boy. Thanks, sir. I'll appreciate that. Yeah. Seems we have more guests. Have Mr. Delco join us, if you would, please. Oh, and thanks for dressing like a prisoner in a silent movie. Okay, ambush formation, everyone. Keep your guard down. like the looks of those pointless cutaways. Yeah, they're a well-regulated militia in the sense that several of them have gotten trapped in a well before. <laughs> it's nice of the paramilitary compound to offer valet parking. We're going to swap hostages with the Duck Dynasty gang. Everybody in position? In position, sir. Well, I'm going to see where the approaching gunman is going with this. First martyrs of the revolution, Mr. Duck. Revolution will not be televised. It will go direct to video. Open fire. Open fire on those guys who are definitely on set at the same time as us. Yeah, these are the guys who are going to blow up Congress. It's one resilient window. <laughs> oh, bury me next to a Calvin peeing decal. I shot the window. No, no, no. I shot the window. Boys, please. You both shot the window somehow. <laughs> Why did they just make the whole airplane out of that window, huh? <sighs> ah, it's the log cabin where they make that famous syrup. Yeah. Mrs. Butterworth. What it feels like to meet your freshman year roommate. You move up from a guest. All right, get him out of the hanging cabin. Oh, thank God. Put him in the scrotum shocking cabin. Ah, uh, really? Ugh. The disgusting thing I picked up turned out to be disgusting. I pour rotten apples, Mr. Delacourt. Really? Most humans actively seek out decaying fruit. I'm sorry, but we're going to have to be going. The journey to Washington is a long one. We have a busy day tomorrow. Asahi guy got us Mark Russell tickets. <laughs> Very happy about that. Dry wit. Yeah, not to worry, <laughs> Della. Somebody will find you. And what's left of you? Oh, he did leave you an apple. So, pressure point then? I don't know. Uh, the apple is the pressure That's point. That's the pressure point. Uh, 
program. They're off to D.C. in a truck that obviously wouldn't be allowed within 5,000 feet of Congress. 1881. Big, big fans of the James A. Garfield assassination. Harriet Beecher Stowe is doing some location scouting. (laughs) Houdini is rolling over in his grave, all the while escaping a straitjacket. Gasping, then seeing nothing in the woods? This just became a Richard Terry special. Filmed during Jason Voorhees' Walden phase. I kind of feel like writing an anti-technology manifesto. Put your hands up! I see your way ahead of me. I've never been so happy to see a cop. Just who the hell are you anyway? I heard shots. What happened out there? I'm about to ask you the same thing. Taylor's militia opened fire on us, and I was the only one wearing a vest. And Thank God it turned out to be bulletproof. I just thought it looked neat. Arnold Taylor and Neil Kennedy, my former boss at the CIA, they're going to blow up the Congressional office building today at noon. Where are they now? And what the hell's with the apple? Washington, with a truckload full of explosives. I saw it at the compound earlier, but that was hours ago. you got to get me down from here. No, why should I believe you? Have you looked in Building 4? Not yet. It's loaded with explosives. So? So explosives are Building 3's thing! I'm right at noon today. The Congressional office building's going to be nothing more than a pile of rubble. If I'm wrong, arrest me. Shoot me. It won't matter. Please take me down. My organs are pooling in my pelvis. Stupid Congress think they're so great because they have their own library. Meanwhile, at the regional airport that's clearly working off a debt to David G. and Cola... Now what? How the hell do I know? <laughs> You're the company, man. Think of something. We could use this helicopter. Its arrival is pretty conspicuous. Who are they? Seems clear that's where this is going. Federal marshals. Federal marshals? I called them after I got your file through BCI. Terrific. Then you think of something. Hey, you guys want to use my helicopter? No, no, we're trying to think of something. Truck logo by a malfunctioning spirograph. Whoa, whoa! Right He's been go. set up. There's a bomb that's going to go off in D.C. And we well, have to get them. I don't care lies. about your documents. I'm sorry. Look, you're making a horrible mistake. Ah, the Edgewood Studios motto. Sebastian, I tried <laughs> to explain the situation here. Unfortunately, there is no explaining your situation. You're a federal fugitive. They think they have their conspiracy if they have you. Well, Leach had tried. I really didn't. I'm not going to do anything about the bomb. No, Kennedy called them before I did. He told them that you were the terrorist. And, you know, reporting terrorism works the same way as calling shotguns. They're the only ones that can do anything about this now. Sure, call. Assist my men to freedom construction, would you please? I'd let you ride along, but I'm afraid you're just not unattractive enough. Well, I should probably tell the chief the rest of the department is dead. Sorry, but I'm going to have to insist that the suspect stay within my jurisdiction for the time being. He's a material witness in an ongoing investigation. Now, if you'll be so kind as to remove yourselves from this helicopter, we'll be borrowing it to further aid in that investigation. Oh, and thanks for not shooting me in the back, the other guy. (laughs) Lady, you're breaking so many laws here. You've got to spend more time in jail than this guy. Thanks for that insight, Marshal Gaines. Now, get out! Now! Get out! Oh, just when Exxon's image had recovered from the Valdez, Bill. The keys for the cuffs. Give her the keys. Hey, screw the bomb. Let's buzz Niagara Falls. Yeah, woo! Eat it, made it a mess. Now that we got wheels and a probable jail sentence, you have any idea where we should take this thing? Yeah, helicopters so known for their abundant wheels. Ahead of us. We could probably reach them before they get to Washington. If we follow the main roads, we should be able to spot the truck. Great. But I don't think this guy's got a road map in here, do you? I had a small fire at my place, and most of my maps got sent. But I think I know where we could find one. They need a map? So there are like dozens of interstates connecting Vermont and D.C.?
Hey, good thing one of us knows how to fly a helicopter. The subtext? This blows. I don't got any high test, mister. I need a map. Map? Fly oh, south. Map. There's your map. I don't got any high test. It's all right. Why don't you get the windshield? The windshield? His decapitation was swift and painless. Continuing the Jefferson Memorial 74-year streak of irrelevancy. So we're in Seattle then? The full state motto, Virginia is for lovers of taffy. Ah, clarifies a lot. Never knew that. After this, the helicopter's got to head to the set of Predator. That's right. It's got to get to the get to the chopper scene. <laughs> Back to hell? Yeah. Okay. They let John Landis guest direct the helicopter scenes, and now Nick from Time Chasers is dead. <sighs> Too close, aren't we? I don't know. I think we covered the 500 miles in pretty good time. Didn't even have to refuel. There it is. Move it on. Do it. <laughs> Put that away. It's been hours. How do you think I'm not fully on board with this by now? Hey, after this, let's go buzz Henry Hill's house. <laughs> See him trying to stir the sauce then. They don't want to stop them. They just want to fly close enough to moon them. In 48 Sierra Victor, this is Federal Marshal Gaines. You're instructed to land immediately. Do you read me? And yes, somehow this direct-to-VHS movie could afford two helicopters. <laughs> Marshall Gaines. I see you found yourself in another lift. Good. So as long as you're in the neighborhood, why don't we rendezvous at the congressional office building? Over and out. Authentic drive through speaker technology. Do you read me? You have violated federal airspace and you will be shot down. Now, now land! Has he been whining at them the whole flight from Vermont? Yeah. Yeah. land! They spotted us. But we were so stealthy. Oh! That react to gunfire like a squirrel just darted out in front of your car. Keep flying. Hey, lady, I'd rather take one of your bullets and get shot down. We're landed. He's having trouble aiming. Okay. I think he's out of bullets. Just kill me now. Ah, yes, the vast green fields and rolling mountains of our nation's capital. The hell? Congress is over there, behind that herd of cattle. <laughs> Where are you going? I need some transportation, and you need to stall gains as long as you can. Frankly, I'm surprised he chose to land so far away from us. Hey, what's going on? I, I need, need the car. car. I need my I car. Need the car. Why are you not getting my Give car? Give him the car! But my overcompensation. Okay. Uh, it's Dixon third. <laughs> Oh, hang on, the car just saw some bikini babes it needs to roll by and go ooh-la-la -la to. <laughs> just remembered when Enzo Ferrari hired me to kill a union leader. <laughs> ah, good times. He did a lot better when he was getting dragged behind a moving vehicle. He should probably go back to that. 
Washington. This sounds like a nice place. How offensive are their football mascots? Mm, day trading. Back in Nam, he used to commandeer ox carts like this. He's responsible for my lie, is what I'm saying. <laughs> Ooh. You get that? You suck. You're too old for that cow. I know. No Yosemite Sam back off mud flaps? Well, of course he's a terrorist. Anyone can see that. Oh, hi there. Hey, I didn't see a How's My Driving sticker. You mind if I just do this in person? That looks like Cameron will have a little chat with his domineering father. Yep. I regret jumping! I'm just driving with my son to an arm wrestling competition. Oh, single elimination, I assume? What, you son of a double elimination or nothing? Die, single elimination scum! Ah. Strange how he can walk away from that while looking like he'd get injured gardening. <laughs> to calmly begin a public meltdown that we're all going to die. Must approach field trips delicately. Uh, sweater's chafing my nipples. Ow. There he is. Guard units... Subject spotted, heading towards the mall. If he's a threat, so is my pet turtle. Over. Roger, Federal 3. We have the subject painted and are advising local. Part of their financing involved dropping off an armoire at his aunt's place. Look out, Fraser Trivia Night. Harlan's back. <laughs> Okay. Because they had exhausted. Yeah, he needs a pithier catchphrase if he wants the crowd to chant it back. Today, it is time to start a new kind of revolution. It is now Bring out Pussy Riot! What's the temperature in Celsius, bank clock? Oh god, please cut back. The cops were told Sebastian was in the Capitol steps, so of course it's shoot on sight. This was before cops got quicker Paul Blardian modes of transportation. <laughs> Stop in the name of having to do our own stunts. Please, I paid 18 bucks for this sweater at TJ Maxx. There's a bomb in there. Come on. No more drag racing now, young man. Mommy loves you. And turns out they've been chasing off-season blouses from cold. <laughs> Wait, I only had the soup. I shouldn't have to pay half. <laughs> Deal with that after the explosion. We have confirmation of an explosive. Hey, hey, I'm just a timer. They wrote me into this. Can you disarm this? You mean unhook that volleyball net? No, no. I've never seen anything quite like this before. What? I said I've never seen anything quite like this before. I 
heard what you said. You're supposed to be a demolitions expert. Well, stay and watch, though. I need though. to amend my resume, then, because technology has definitely passed me by. Do something! At least look at me while I'm distracting you! Okay. You may want to hold on to something in case this doesn't work. Ready? You might see your blood vaporize before you die. What? That's it? So a pothole could have completed this mission hours ago? I drew my gun on a federal agent over a loose USB cable! <laughs> Good choice, huh? Yeah. You did not safely eject hardware. Goodbye. I gotta go. Look, just find a bathroom. You don't have to tell me every time. Hey, so this is totally safe now? No, it'll probably still blow. See ya! Okay, hey. Mmm, he is the plainest man I have ever seen. I could run faster, you know. Wanna see? Okay, I can't run faster. I will bowl with him someday. We'll put the gutter guards up for him. Thank you! The clock tower just have a flashback? Thinking of its old life as an airport. <laughs> Boys, don't make fun of the special propeller. He's a very hard worker. <laughs> Government takes private planes mostly to avoid the jokey safety announcements. That was a major setback. The botched terror attack? Why? Oh, I don't know. Pilot, what's our ETA? Gentlemen. Della. It's united from the looks of it. Surprise, Neil. What do you want, Della Course? He wants his revenge, Taylor. No, nothing so crude as revenge. No. What then? I want retribution. You stole my life, Neil. Oh, come on, Della. Your kid looked a lot like you. You don't want to be around and watch that happen. Made anything better. Maybe just different. You're a talented man, Mr. Delacour. Flying without looking? <laughs> well, thank you, Mr. Taylor. But for old time's sake, Neil, I'll leave you with some advice of my own. Turn down after mash. Make a last wish. Why expose corruption when I can just do this? <laughs> yes, wave like a kid seeing his mommy as you murder your enemies. Huh. Odd time for a pride shout out, but admirable nonetheless. And so Sebastian became a Mormon missionary, but he went alone because, well, no one liked him. Hi there. Hey, I'm looking for the other reservoir dogs. Hi there. Where are you going? <laughs> Wilmington, Delaware. What in the world in Wilmington, Delaware? You know, I don't know anymore. Well, Parlin, I don't want to keep a man in his destiny. Parlin! Last attacker didn't fancy me caressing his thigh. Hope you don't mind. Oh, Mir, come on, don't remind him. He's been through enough. <laughs> there we go. And as we watch our <laughs> aging star slash screenwriter, that's correct, close his Tom Clancy fantasy with a smirk. Wow. I want to thank everyone out there for joining us for this riff of Pressure Point. Don't tread on me, Mike. Bill, any thoughts? Uh, these colors don't run. I <laughs> surely hope not. <laughs> And uh, not to break any amendments, but if you happened upon this riff for free, perhaps on some, I don't know, anti-government subreddit, would you please do us a favor? Head on over to rifttracks.com slash donate and do your civic duty. 
Hey, we'll see you next time at RiffTracks.com. Copyright by Rift Tracks, all rights reserved.